I always love coming to the Scottish Conference. It's such a great opportunity to hear great speakers talking about new things. And the focus for this year was definitely on how internal audit needs to operate in the new world. What's gone before? What lessons have we learnt? It's definitely an opportunity for internal audit to raise its game. Uh, our profiles are really high because of the work that we've been doing with the new FS code, the new public sector code. And we really need to build on that and just make sure that uh, organisations and the wider corporate governance community really appreciate the value that we can add to organisations. Okay, I really believe that there's a once in a lifetime um, opportunity, perhaps once in a generation opportunity for a step change in internal audit. Um, we've seen the effect of um, internal audit and financial services um, guidelines come out and this is going to require internal auditors to um, get involved in a lot of different areas such as um, strategy, um, culture, things that really you might argue went wrong in pre-financial um, crisis. So here is an opportunity to grasp and really make a difference in terms of giving assurance to audit committees and boards in a brave new world. The problem was executives having too much power and how there being an inadequate separation and balance of power in the boardroom between the executive who were focused on kind of power and profit and uh, all those constituents that was supposed to be raising the red flag, blowing the whistle or whatever you want to call it. And that of course includes internal audit. I think one of the benefits of coming to events like this is, is that you get assurance. I think you get assurance that yeah, you are still doing the right kinds of things. Um, you get to share ideas and objectives. But I think it just gives you peace of mind that yes, you still are working as a competent internal audit unit and that you're on the right tracks. Yes, this is our 10th conference in uh, the Scottish CIIA uh, and it is bigger and better. Uh, last year we had 86 uh, delegates, this year we're at 123. So it's great, uh, there are budget cuts going around, but what I think that tells us is people are getting passionate about what they do. Uh, they want to hear that expertise, they want to share the knowledge and, and understand what the future looks like for them. I'm very lucky to have been asked to chair this conference, uh, I think it's now five or six years in the trot, and I think there are two things that are interesting about that. One is that there's such a wide range of organisations that are represented here, and it gives you a real feel for the things that are common and the things that are different between different sectors. You actually get a sense for how organisations work right across the economy. The other is it's let me watch things develop across the economic cycle, and it's a very good perspective from which to try to understand what's going on in organisations as they adapt to changing circumstance outside. I always find it a fascinating uh, couple of days as well as a very enjoyable one. I've uh, made a number of friends here and it's, uh, it's always a pleasure to come back.